Hey, this is Garrett Thomas, and you're watching The Shift. Brought to you by Murphy's Magic. What up, family? Chris Ramsey here, and thank you for joining me once again for another edition of The Shift. This week, we're back. Well, I'm back from Magi Fest, and wow, what an eventful event. It was a lot of fun. There were a lot of shenanigans and a lot of great magic. In fact, I've brought you guys some footage from Magi Fest. So before we get into anything else, let's start off this episode because it's Tuesday, because this is an exception. Let's start off this episode with a little bit of a, a montage and then we'll talk about the products that we are going to review this week. So have a look at this and uh, we'll see you in a bit. Alright, hope you enjoyed that. For this week's episode, we are looking at two brand new effects and we actually have performances from the creators, which is really fun. We're looking at 400 Lux by Kyle Littleton and Mirage Etoile 2.0 by Eric Jones. But before we get into that, let's announce the winner of last week's contest. And the winner is... Mads Anderson. Mads Contact us, facebook.com slash Murphy's Magic Supplies, and we'll send that out to you ASAP. To win this week's effects, simply like this video and comment below. Let us know what you thought of either the episode or the effects, and we will choose one lucky winner to take home these two prizes next week. Good luck. All right, first up on the deal, let's check out 400 Lux. Here's a performance by Kyle Littleton. Have a look, and we'll talk about it after this. That looks great. Hi, my name's Kyle Littleton. This is my trick, 400 Lux. Impromptu bill change. Uh, you could just go to the bank, get your money from the bank, and you can be doing it before you even walk out of the bank. So uh, thanks for checking it out. That was 400 Lux. Kyle Littleton, great guy. First time I've ever met him in my life, and uh, we were just jamming out. He's really, really smart, really bright, and has a lot of really creative uh, effects. This being one of them. So the effect basically here is a four for four bill change. You're changing four one dollar bills into four one hundred dollar bills, and obviously the biggest bullet point here is that there are no gimmicks. This is completely impromptu. So therefore. There's that. I mean, how amazing is that? I think anytime you can replace a gimmick is a good thing. Now, does that mean that you won't use the gimmick? Uh, a lot of people like Extreme Burn. I think Extreme Burn is still valid. However, let's say you don't have an Extreme Burn on you and you know this method. Well, there you go. Or if you're not into gimmicks and you want to save money, you can do this as well. Because you don't have to destroy any bills or use up any bills to create a, a gimmick, you save that money, right? On this project, Kyle talks to you about, I think there's like four different handlings to this. 
He talks about audience management, what angles to perform, which which sort of changes to perform in which situations, which is really important. He also has some bonus effects, which are really visual, um, some that involve an extra bill. So what you're getting is you're getting a ton of information from Kyle. This isn't just something he stumbled upon. This is something he's been working on for a long time and you can obviously tell by the amount of detail that is put into this project. Uh, the difficulty level is, is a bit difficult. Obviously it's sleight of hand, so it is tricky, but it's something that you will be able to learn when you put some time into it. If you've ever played with Extreme Burn, I mean, that wasn't necessarily, just because the gimmick doesn't mean you didn't have to practice it, right? So it's definitely worth practicing, definitely worth checking out. I really, really enjoyed this. I enjoyed any time that someone replaces any type of gimmick um, and makes it a valid contribution to, uh, to magic. So thank you so much, Kyle, and I hope you guys enjoy that. Check out Lux 400, 400 Lux. Next up, we're looking at Mirage et Toi 2.0 by Eric Jones. Have a look at a performance by the man himself, and we'll talk about it after this. I'll show you something really simple with three half dollars. You can examine them to make sure they're exactly what they look like. Yep. Excellent. So here's the basic idea. Tied one at a time. You'll see the three points as they fly. From the fingertips here, to the fingertips here, and without you seeing it. I'm going to ask you to open your hand. I'm going to get you to stay here for just about 45 seconds. I'm trying not to make it too much Do me a favor, keep your eyes on this way. Because you know exactly where the point is and where it's going to go. I'll do it in slow motion so you can see the moment. The second. The very instant, the next 45 from your left to your right. Which leaves one point left to go, and I'm going to be honest, this is my favorite. It travels in really weird ways, like when you look finger, really down, down so finger, and if I'm really lucky, actually, do me a favor, close your hand around the point. So you can pull right and start to separate. Water and you see as it goes from here to here. Yeah, that's why they all close to the top. So good, I can get it to from here to here. So you say, look, I'll give you an option. If you don't mind opening your hand, you'll see that you have all of your Bravo! Well and my name's Eric Jones, and this is... So that was a performance of Eric Jones uh, performing Mirage Etoile 2.0. What you see there is the uh, spectator's sort of coins across that he uses with the spectator's hands. This is actually the new handling to Mirage Etoile, so what he's added is that uh, the spectator is involved, which I think is fantastic. So. If you've bought Mirage et Trois, the first one, which he released 10 years ago, which is crazy, this is going to this is going to be a, an add-on to that, let's say. I still recommend getting the first one if you don't have it, um, just out of personal preference. But anything Eric puts out is really, really, really well taught. Eric is probably one of the best teachers in coin magic ever, and uh, a really, really prolific creator as well. So. What you're getting, you're not only getting his his handlings, but you're getting his insight and his theory and his and his philosophy, which is always fun to hear. Um, and on top of that, you're getting some great slights. So as you seen on the performance, this basically involves the spectator. Now, this that's something that I think is so powerful because there are types of magic uh, which almost fall into the manipulation category where you kind of just do it and they kind of just have to sit there and experience it. But once you bring them into the realm, once you bring them into your world, I think that's when it becomes engaging and that's when you can really come up with a creative uh, plot or context involving the spectator, uh, which makes it all the more interesting for them and a more interesting story for them to tell. So I really have nothing bad to say. I'm not a coin guy myself, which is why I had Eric uh, do the performance, but I have nothing bad to say about this. I think it's fantastic and Eric, everything he puts out is always a valid contribution to the art of magic. And so if you're into coins, if you're serious about coins, this is something you definitely have to pick up. Let's check out Mirage et Toi 2.0 by Eric Jones and the Lost Art of Magic. So that about wraps it up for this week, guys. I'm really glad you joined me, and I'm sorry that I didn't get to post on Sunday, but it did mention you. I forewarned you last week. Uh, this week should be on time, but thanks again for joining in. Have a safe and happy week for what's left of it, and we'll catch you next Sunday. Peace.